Hey everybody, I'm Sam. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out the Piggyback Brigade. From Korea Board Games. Yes. Now this looks like it's all in Korean. However, um, I, I don't... Not one of the sides. No. Russell Banda is on <laughs> the uh, is on one of the sides. Okay. Uh, the rest of the sides do have Korean. However, it does have English rules hey. in the box. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about whether uh, you can play the game or not. Um... The game has super cute pieces, and it is ultimately a really simple race game. For ages four and up, right? Eight, so. um, yes, actually. Ages. So that's like for really like younger kids. Yes. So, um, thanks to Korea Board Games for providing us this copy of the Piggyback Brigade. But they didn't give it to us in exchange for this video. They gave it to us because they know we like to play oh, all well, the games. Can. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this super cute game. Okay. So we've got all of our pigs stacked up, piggybacked in rainbow order, of course, right? Well, yeah. Um, each player is going to choose a pig, unless you're playing with two or three players, in which case you're going to start off with two pigs. So in my corner, I've got the blue pig and the yellow pig. And Steph has the red pig and the purple pig. All right, all the other pigs going to disappear. You need to set up this course in any way you like, except you should not have a closed circuit. It needs to be open-ended. So we're all going to start on this end, like so. We're each going to have one disc of each color, and there is one die. There are two ones. There is one two. There are two threes, an, a reddish-orange three and a black three, and there is a four. So, on your turn, you are going to roll the die and move your pig. However, if you roll a one, you get to roll, you get to advance your pig one space and roll again. If you roll a black three and at the time you roll the black three, you are in the uh you are last or tied for last and if you're all together you are all indeed tied for last then after you've moved three you get to roll again so um during the race there's going to be stacks of pigs on top of each other if i am the yellow pig and i roll a value i'm going to carry all the pigs that are on top of me if I'm rolling for the yellow pig. Um, if you are on top, you just bound off the top and not carry any of the other pigs uh, that are underneath you. Um, and you're just going to keep going around like that until one pig makes it off the edge. Now, once during the course of the race, but only once, each player may prolong the racetrack when it's their turn to move. So, assuming that everybody is off the backspace, you're going to take this and you're going to move it over to the end of the racetrack and you're going to place your chip next to that segment of the racetrack, meaning you have used up your one opportunity to prolong the race. If you're ahead, there's probably no reason to prolong that race because you're about to win. Now, the rules do not say with two or three players whether you need to get both of your pigs over the finish line. It just says your piggy must be the first to reach the end of the path and move off the board segment. The last roll does not need to be exact. If a whole stack of pigs goes off the end, then all the pigs in the stack are joint winners. So that is all the rules for this cute little game. Now, for two and three players, after you make your first roll, you choose which of your two piggies is going to go first. After that pig is done moving, then your other pig will move. So that is pretty much it. Alexa, flip a coin. If you want to predict, I put a prediction out. Heads, heads. So you get to go first. There's your die. All right. After your first roll, it's a one. Is it red or purple? Red. All right. Red continues. It's one. Well, red continues. Finish. 
Normally you would stack these up, but since we are playing on the camera, we are going to place them flat for you. And it's a two to finish up your movement. Purple time. It's a two. That's the end of purple's movement. Well. I'm going to roll. It's a one. Might as well take the yellow piggy and we're going to keep going. It's a three and in last place. No, this pig is in last. Hold on. Let me see. Let me make sure. I think you are correct. I don't think I think that it does count the ones furthest, furthest back. So one, two, three, and that's it. Blue is moving. Blue goes four, one, two, three, four. That's fantastic. Ah. You can't affect that unless you jump on top. That's a three. Which one is it? Let's go with this. Wow, you're growling. Oh, look, that's great. Yeah. Now red gets to go. How about a one and red continues? <laughs> it's a three, and that's the end of red's movement. Hey, it's time for one of my pigs to go. I wonder which one it will be. Probably oh, yellow. Hey, I love the yellow one. Oh, look, uh, it's one again. No. Then, oh. It's a one again. No. And then it's a one again. And then it's a three and the yellow pig. Is in the back. One, two, three. I'm gonna turn this on. Oh you should probably be going this way down the track. Yeah. And then another one. And then another one. <laughs> and then another one. This guy is rigged. <laughs> and then. <laughs> I swear to you. No. I mean, you're watching this, right? Yeah. Bye. And it's an orange three. Oh. One, two, three. Hey, the blue pick has not moved yet. Now the blue gets to go. Four. Wow. One, two, three, four. What you going to do? I'm going to roll ten ones. Are you going to extend the race? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to move. Forward. One, two, three. And you're in the back. And it's a one. And you're in the back. And it's a one. <laughs> and it's a one. Well, I get it. it. And it's a one. I mean, what's up? It's a wooden die. It's it's perfectly normal. One, two. Okay. And now the now the blue, purple piggy moves. Yeah. I'm not even gonna extend <clears> it. <throat> I'm gonna take a chance and take that chance. For the line. It's a three in and you're back. in the back. Yeah, okay. And it's a one. How many spaces do I got? Three. Okay. It's half chance. Ooh. Now it's like, it, it's actually a sure thing now. Because if you get a one, you're going to keep going. And that's it. Well, You did it. Good job, Piggy. Good job, Piggy. Oh. And that is the Piggyback Brigade. Aw. No equal turns, no nothing. That is just it. That's true. You have an advantage going later. Order. No, that I am not sure. Maybe. Because oh. if you roll a three, then it's like your last. Well, it's a good catch-up mechanism, right? Yeah. So, that is the Piggyback Brigade. And if you enjoyed this teaching playthrough and you want more just like it, come join us on YouTube <laughs> at BoardGamerStef. Yes. Or you can join us on Twitch.tv slash BoardGamerStef every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central, where we play a whole bunch of games. All the games. At least three games. We did every, six tonight. We did six tonight. Every single stream. So come join us on Twitch where we play oh. all the games. And for those on Twitch, we'll be right back.